Hey everyone, welcome to Review Time with Ice Lip. I'm your host, Ice Lip. Today I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Combiner Wars Skydive. So, here he is. Here's the back of his box. Just have to lift this up just a wee bit. So you can see he forms an arm or a leg, depending on whether you want it to be an arm or leg. It says, Skydive, Master Combat Tactician. Mietre de Tactiques de Combat. Maestro en Estrellas de Combate. Mestre no Combate. I can't read that. So, yeah. There's that. It's pretty cool. There he is in his box. And honestly, the, with the sort of with the shape of his head here, I think I can repaint this into like a sort of a G2 plane Megatron kind of thing. Uh, we'll see. But I do see repaints of this guy. So, these, he might be a summer project. Um, he comes with a card, which I've already taken out and put with the other cards. He's got his instructions right here. Put that over here so I don't lose it, because I might need it just to be on the safe side. And there he is with all his weapons and googly schmooglies. We'll get this and put this out. And I'm sitting outside in my yard. Well, I'm on my porch. In the yard in my... What do you call it? Put that in there. In my apartment complex. So, and then that can either get just stuck on the wing or put here as a, as a gun. I wish I could. I wish you could rotate the thumb around, but yeah. So, come on, we can do this. So, there you have. Let's lower this down a little bit. There you have Combiner Wars Skydive, and he looks pretty cool. I like him. Um, I kind of wish his head was more square-ish, just like, you know, I don't know, I, I just, in G1 the he heads were more square because they actually made the plugs for the, whatchamacallit. So, um, yeah, so he's pretty cool, there's airplane kibble, of course it would be, there's this weird hole, octagonal hole on his butt. Anyway, um, he has ball jointed head so you get lots and lots and lots of articulation there ball jointed arm which is also on a bit of a swivel so you can do that um, rotates at the uh, where the shoulder becomes the bicep elbow and that is it uh, no waist but he has ball jointed legs and a truck it's FedEx! Oh, I wonder if my package is coming today. I've got two more pieces of this guy coming. Rotates. Bends at the knee. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get him into his airplane mode. So we're going to take these out. And the transformations are simple. Um, but they're, for the most part, fairly satisfying. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these arms let's just get them like so for now you're going to take the shoulders and they swivel down see they swivel down now a lot of times when you see this guy um, like the stock footage stock footage stock pictures we've seen him as an airplane they didn't re uh, slide the shoulders on down I just realized there are screw holes here and screws there I didn't even notice that I actually like that it just gives me it's awesome and this paint I mean this is plastic, but honestly, the way they thicked it on here, it looks like it's die cast. And it's not. I mean, in real life, I don't know about on the camera. Anyway, um, I'm going to slide these on down. Sorry for being so talkative. I'm trying to do this fast so that um, I don't run out of battery power. So you do that. Turn his head so uh, around to the back. You're going to unpeg this from these holes here, straighten it on out, bring it on down. And then you're going to open the legs and you're going to swivel these swivel these pieces up like so. Swivel these pieces 
up again like so and they meet in the middle and then you're going to close uh, push these pieces down like so and then close like so you're going to take the arms straighten them up and peg them in here do that again straighten peg it in here and there goes that FedEx truck again I really hope that he's bringing my stuff which I'll review tomorrow I won't review it today so I, this way I can get a chance to play with it a little bit and there you go there you have a fairly satisfying jet mode I mean I'm the only issue I really have is the arms on the side sticking out so much um, they could have engineered it in a way that the arms could have stuck in could have squished in more or something or maybe just tucked in under or something and this doesn't want to stay for some reason but other than than that it's, and it's just a, that's a minor complaint this is actually pretty cool very solid feeling I like the way this feels it feels like a toy of yesteryear does it feel flimsy it doesn't feel it's got some weight to it it really does have some weight not quite die cast metal weight but it's definitely a denser plastic than we're used to getting so yeah and you know you can have them and whatever else if you want to where did I put the weapons there you can take take the gun put it there I wish they would have given to given two of these ones these guns because you know this way you can stick them under here and have two of them you know otherwise it's lopsided you can also take this piece here and stick it underneath like so and have I guess missiles or lasers or masers uh, it would have been nice if there was a way to stick it under here so that it would act as a stand like you can do with the helicopter guy uh, Alpha Bravo uh, you can if you want to stick it in here and fold this up some so it's just like so which kinda looks like a hand but at least there's storage for it and if you decide to, you can have it you can put it on a table like this so it's a little stand and whatever so there's that now to turn them into a limb we're going to go ahead and pop that down we're gonna go with the leg first because that's not how I'm going to have them. Um, I mean, I will once I get, once I get uh, uh, the one that's coming in wave two. I forgot which one is he was. He'll be a leg, but otherwise he's going to be. I'm probably going to have him as an arm. Well, at least, at least until I get the rest of the aerial bots. When I get the rest of them, then he'll be a leg. But. Uh, Pop all that crap back together again, right? Am I doing that right? Yeah This is of course giving me issues now flip these like so Arms still go straight to the back like so arms to the back like so and And you just take this and Viola he's a foot and then you can just kind of stick this anywhere I'm going to pause it for a second because I just want to double check with the instructions that that is indeed how it's supposed to go. And yes, indeed, that is how he is supposed to go. So here is the foot. And of course you have a bit of knee articulation because of the thing there. And it also, oops, also rotates there. And then, you know, it rotates there. There is no ankle pivot, but hey, you don't need it. Now we're going to go to arm mode. So to arm mode, we will go ahead and flip this out. Flip like that. And we're done with that. We're going to take this. Turn it around. Um, um, you know what? I, how did the instructions say to do this? What did I do with them? Sorry, guys. I meant to have this all figured out, and I just looked at the instructions just to make sure, and uh, completely forgot just that fast. And okay, see what I'm. 
All right. Sorry, guys. Okay, so maybe I'll edit that out. Maybe I won't. So you're supposed to turn this like so, flip them back, rotate, and then this little, uh, I don't know, whatever, it's supposed to slot in right there. So that's pretty nice, actually. Yep, keeps it secure. I mean, of course, there's a fist right there, but hey, you know, what are you going to do? Do the same thing on this side, unpeg, rotate this, uh, bend this at the peg, and rotate this all the way around. Put it in there, and your right is rain and good as gold. Okay, so there's that. Um, open this up, of course, and we're going to transform his legs almost like we're going to transform him almost like we're transforming his legs back, but instead of unpegging them and separating them into legs, we're going to leave them pegged together. So go and close this up and I believe that is an arm I don't know if we're supposed to um, rotate this back up again possibly do that or leave it down so we have an arm rotates oh yeah put this up so we've got a, an arm and I guess you could turn it the other way but then you kind of lose out on the double elbow then you just got the one elbow which I guess that's okay but then it, it it goes like that so make sure the thumb is facing the right way and uh, then you can put a gun or a weapon in that little peg so it looks like he's holding a pistol and then flip him like that so or just uh leave the gun here or on the back end of the other one whichever you like and uh, yeah so uh, this is Ice Slip and um, I really like this guy I do I didn't think I was gonna like him as much um, I like his I, I, this the, the only thing wrong with him really is in the other mode in the um, jet mode the arms don't really slot in to the body like in the G1 they, there was a big groove and you could squish the so the plane mode was more cohesive. Uh, this one is a plane with arms sticking out the side, and that's you know what though it's still better than Hasbro's um, other combiners for the last what 15 years. So yeah, some ice slip, and uh, that is that.